If you need help connecting your DVD VCR to your TV, you can check out our other video on how to connect it to your TV. But if you have it connected already, you'll want to put in the recordable tape that you want to transfer. And then you'll put in your blank disc, which you have a few different options to choose from. This device will do plus, minus, R, RW, and RAM discs. Some devices will only do certain discs. We're going to use the DVD minus R disc, which generally you'll have a choice between R and RW. R is record once, and RW means that you can record over and over. So if you're just wanting to save something onto your DVD, you probably want to get minus R. But if you plan to copy over that DVD, you can get the RWs. So first, You'll put in the disc and then we're going to want to format the disc. So we'll use the remote and go to the DVD side. And you will need the remote for this. There isn't any of these that you can do this without the remote. And if you need the remote, you can contact us and see if we have it available. And oftentimes we will. Once you put the disc in, it will sometimes automatically format it, but if it doesn't, you'll have to go into the menus and format it yourself, which to do that, you'll go into the setup menus using this remote. We'll use the functions button, and then we'll go to other functions, and then DVD management, or the disc menu for other players or recorders. And it looks like this one did it automatically, so we can go back to the setup menus and do copy and then we'll do VHS to DVD, which other players will have a remote control where you may have to hold down the dubbing button or just push the dub to DVD button and then it will do it for you. But for this one, we have to do it in the setup menus and then we'll do VHS to DVD and then it will show you all this. So if we push the record button, it will just record all the way through and once the disc is filled it will automatically finalize it which if you record an SP it will hold two hours you can also record an XP which will hold one hour and it will improve the quality but it won't do it if you're recording from VHS so I wouldn't recommend doing that but you could also lower the quality and fit up to eight hours on the disc if you wanted to do that so we're just gonna do play we're gonna push play and start copying without finalizing. All right, so now it's recording the VHS onto the DVD. And whenever we're done recording, we can just push the stop button on the remote or we can just wait until it's filled up the disc. So once you're done recording, you can push the stop button and it will take a minute to save the information to the disc. So once it's done recording, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you're on the DVD drive and not the VHS side, otherwise this next step won't work. You'll go back into the functions or setup menu and you'll go to other functions and find the DVD options or DVD management and then you'll finalize the disc. So you'll want to definitely make sure you finalize because if you don't, it's not going to be able to play back in other players. It will only be able to play in this device. So definitely make sure you finalize. And then the finalization will just take a few minutes. And then once it's done, you can take it out and play it in other players.